Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight I'm trying to be a podcaster apparently with my microphone right in front of me. I just thought I would try out a different style video. Um, so basically I am here to read your plant confessions. <laughs> I asked you guys a few weeks ago to send in some of your planty confessions and basically I'm just going to read them off and give you my reaction. So that's pretty much it. It's very simple. <laughs> So let's get on into it. These are pretty funny. And I think you'll enjoy them as much as I did when I first got them. We're going to start off with my friend Ashley. Her plant confession made me laugh so hard. Um, okay, so let's get into that. One time I secretly released over a thousand ladybugs in my house because I was battling pests. Thought they would stay in the plants. That night, my husband and I were in bed, and hundreds were crawling all over our ceiling. Whoops, lol. <laughs> this plant confession really just gave me, like, the heebie-jeebies, because, first of all, I could never release bugs into my home. I know some people do that, like, Summer Rain Oaks does, um, releases bugs into her home to combat, um insects that will attack your plants and the insects that she releases will eat those insects I just could never do that like that just creeps me out so much so this really hit home and also in like the fall I have a really bad problem with ladybugs getting into my house like I'll have maybe 20 at a time in the day they just come inside because they're trying to stay warm so I just can't imagine releasing them on purpose so, Ash, that sounds awful. <laughs> so, the next one. This is Laura B.A. My husband gave me an orchid just to make me feel better because I was so stressed after postpartum, but I've never enjoyed them. They always have spider mites. I ignored it and let it die. He felt bad and got me an actual spider plant. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so cute. So I'm wondering if he got you a spider plant because your orchid got spider mite. If he like kind of was poking fun at you. But I agree, a lot of orchids do have spider mite. So I don't know what's up with that. Like I've had, I've lost two d dendrobium orchids to spider mite. I don't know what, what the deal is, but that's pretty funny. Oh, by the way, I am drinking a stout right now. This is the KBS um founders stout and it's pretty good so you know classic me drinking a stout on camera <laughs> even though i've only done it like once but i do enjoy a stout in the winter let's see so this is from carrie i put my archaea palm outside in the snow because i wasn't loving it anymore and it wasn't doing well but I was, as I was telling my friend about it, I looked at it, <laughs> I looked at it looking at me from outside looking sad. I felt like a monster. So only after 10 minutes, I brought it back in the house. It has now since decided to give me five shoots of growth. I am a monster. Next time, instead of deliberately killing a plant, I'll give it to someone who will appreciate it. <laughs> When I read this, I thought it was so sweet because she just felt so guilty just seeing her little plant sitting outside in the snow. And I can't believe it didn't die. I think she said it was outside for 10 minutes and then she brought it back inside. And that's amazing that it was able to recuperate from that. So that's really funny. <laughs> and the, apparently the plant still loves you. So, Okay, this one's really funny. This is from Ava F. This is a girl that I the comments a lot. She's um, a really sweet person. She said, have you ever gone to Lowe's or Home Depot and saw some plants in desperate need of water and picked up a hose so they didn't die? So I've honestly never done that. I've never noticed like a hose laying around, but that's really sweet that you <laughs> have watered the plants for them. They should pay you for that. You're doing their job. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So someone responded to Ash's, um, uh, what's it called, her plant confession, because this was in my YouTube community tab, and it said, oh my god, the ladybug's crawling on the ceiling. What did your husband do? I know he had to say something that's so funny, and and did you just lie there? You have to confess to your husband. I get, I get he, I bet he gets a kick out of it. <laughs> 
So yeah, people were really were really enjoying the the ladybug comment. So this is Jacqueline's jungle. She's a total sweetheart. You should totally check her out. Oh, also, um, Ash has a channel as well, but Jacqueline is also a YouTuber. And she said, I hate my croton, and sometimes I feel the urge to just get rid of certain plants, but I feel too guilty about it. I mean, I can totally relate. I am not a fan of crotons, and I definitely have had plants in my care that I just wasn't a fan of. So I totally feel you. So, so this is from Emily Plant Things. The more plants you have, the harder it is for friends and family to know if you get a new one. To avoid judgment, I just say, oh, this is an old plant. I've had it for years. <laughs> That's so great. You know, I probably have done that as well because people are just like, what's going on here? Why do you have so many plants? So Adam Van Camp said, I just put my Monstera at Insonia outside this morning in 14 degree temperature to kill the thrips. And I'm wondering if this kills your plant. Was this 14 degree Fahrenheit or Celsius is what I'm also wondering. Because I feel like if it was Fahrenheit, your plant would definitely die. But yeah, I don't know what 14 degrees is in Celsius, but that's pretty cold. So the next plant confession we have is from Nicole. And she said, I often go to plant sales just to look knowing full well that it's impossible and I'm certainly going to buy something. <laughs> and you know what? I appreciate the honesty. It is really hard to just look sometimes, especially if you find a really beautiful plant. But, you know, sometimes you just have to buy it. This is another one from Emily. She said, if I see a lot of plants struggling at a big box store or grocery store, I inform the manager Honestly, most people are receptive and the plants receive better care moving forward. Most people, but not all. <laughs> I think that's adorable that you do that. I honestly would never do that just because I am super awkward. Like I would just feel really weird doing that, but that's really sweet that you care enough to do that. So props to you, Emily. A lot of us probably wouldn't do that, but you probably saved a few plants by informing the manager. So <laughs> Cheers to you. Oh my God, this is, makes me sad. So Alicia said that she killed a $300 Albo Monstera Deliciosa cutting and tears were shed. That makes me really sad that that happened. <laughs> like truly, that makes me, I don't know. I just, I really hope the price comes down and they're more affordable. And I know that most likely will happen since the demand is so high, but I would be really upset as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is Zanny Zana said, I just tossed a peperomia mat maticalaca in the bin because it wasn't doing it for me. I did the same with a peperomia pink lady too and a peperomia piccolo bandit. Gosh, sounds like I hate peperomia. I don't. These just annoy me somehow. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, if, if it's not doing well for you, then I totally get it. I have been there and I have done that. <laughs> okay, so this is SLC Sweetie said, when my youngest was a toddler, she took her baby scissor and went to town on my orchids. When I came in the room, all I saw were leaf clippings everywhere. I had a heart attack. It was brutal to see. Since then, most have recovered. A few passed away and my hubby made an orchid room for me. Oh my God, that's so cute. So it started off really sad. Like obviously if your child destroys your plants, it's upsetting. But the fact that your husband made you an orchid room is so adorable. And that's just goals, you know. That's, that's love. <laughs> that's adorable. Oh my God. Yeah. When my nephew comes to visit, I like put most of the plants in my dog's bedroom because I can shut the door and he tries his best to get in there because he knows how to open doors now because he knows it's off limits. So he's like, what's in there? And, um, he's like a year and eight months or something like that. And it's hilarious, but I just don't trust him around my plants. Like he almost um, ruined my Monstera Deliciosa uh, Variegata. 
he by pulling a leaf right when I got it he almost like ripped the leaf off um so yeah I don't trust him just yet he's too young to understand <laughs> so um this is Morgan she said I keep telling my husband I'm not buying any more plants he doesn't care that I have plants I just tell him that because I don't want to buy any more plants and then I feel so guilty when I buy one that I don't tell him I've bought it to avoid the I thought you said and I just bring it home and pretend it never happened. <laughs> and that's the benefit of living alone. I don't have to explain myself. So I can kind of relate because I used to live with my ex-boyfriend and I feel like he kind of judged me because I bought a lot of plants. But, you know, it's a hobby. It's a healthy hobby. So do your thing. <laughs> So Breathe Plants said, I've gifted my plants, which I've fallen out of love. Wink face. So that's good. I mean, it's it's like you're giving your plant a new chance at like a nice home if you're not really feeling it anymore. So I think that's a better alternative to just like throwing it out. But throwing it out is fine too if you really don't want it. I just wouldn't make a habit out of it if possible. Try to be very mindful when you're purchasing plants or whatever you're buying. But I'm sure the plant was in a better home that was and it was appreciated more. Oh my god. <laughs> so Magic Mia said, I threw out my pothos. I thought it had scale. And now when I think back, it just had aerial roots. That is so sad. Oh man, that's a rookie mistake, but you know you learn. Yep. Yep. I mean, they look kind of similar when the aerial roots are just, just forming and they look like a little bump on the stem. So I totally get it. <laughs> All right, guys. So I do have more plant confessions for you from my Instagram. Those were most of them from YouTube, but already I think this video is going to be over 10 minutes long, give or take with editing. So I don't want to make it go on for too long. So I am considering doing a part two if you guys enjoy this. It was honestly a lot of fun filming it. Um, you guys are really funny and like I can relate to a lot of your confessions. So don't feel bad. I'm not coming for you. You know, no one's perfect. That's just all a part of the plant journey. We're all just learning and you know, you have to kill some plants along the way. You fall in and out of love with plants and that's totally cool. So, you know, what am I saying? I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I hope you don't mind me having this mic right in front of my face. I'm just such a paranoid person and like I overthink everything. Gotta love anxiety and I was like I wonder if people will um, have a problem with this mic being in front of my face but you know what? Who cares because my audio is going to sound hopefully good using this type of a mic having it right here so it's just my little podcast, you know? So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let's see, leave um, a beer emoji so that you, I know that you made it to the end. And um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment. Any type of engagement is really appreciated and helps out my channel, helps it reach new people. But yeah, I really hope you guys had fun watching this. I honestly had such a good time filming it. Um, it's just like a different type of video and it really was fun. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your night or day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.